Hey everyone, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got a sound system demo of the 2020 Subaru Outback Onyx XT Edition, XT Onyx Edition, whatever way it works. Now this is an interesting test because it's not their top level Harman Kardon sound system that you find in the touring and limited versions of the Outback. No, no, this is the base, well it's not technically base, the base system in the base Outback, the four speakers. This has six speakers, they don't tell you what the wattage is, but it can't be great. <laughs> But it's kind of cool to test a system that's not the top end system and kind of see what your average Super Outback is going to have. So this is going to be a full in-depth review of the sound system. We're going to take a look at the infotainment display. We're going to take the car out on the road, listen to what the sound levels are like, listen to some sample tracks, and I'll give you my impressions at the end. Before we get started, let's hop out, take a quick look at the vehicle. So this is kind of middle trim for the Subaru Outback here in 2020, but it does come with their top level 260 horse 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer motor. Price is coming in around $34,000, maybe $35 for this exact vehicle. It's been nice to drive it, just got a few fatal flaws, <laughs> mostly the transmission. If you want to see a full review on the car, check out the link in the description when it goes live. Now let's go around and take a look at speaker locations, which will be easy because there's only six. So we've got one, two up top, three fours in the door, then five, six in the second row, and that is it. In terms of audio inputs and controls for the Outback, you've got a pretty standard fare, plus one, I like to say. So you've got your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio. You also have two USB ports here, two in the back, although I think those are just for power. You've also got a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack and Apple CarPlay Android auto support. So what are you missing? Pretty much all you are missing is a CD player. It's not too often to see those on new vehicles anyway, so we're not going to really knock it too hard. It is nice to get a 3.5 jack if you still like plugging in your device for high quality audio. For ways to adjust track and volume, pretty standard as well. You've got a volume knob here with nice detents, as well as a nice clicker up and down volume control on the steering wheel. You also have nice big track adjustments on the steering wheel, two knob here, and virtual controls in the touchscreen. Now we always do these audio tests with all the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So you have your standard bass, mid, treble, front, back, left, right, balance, fader, vocal image control, so that you can kind of focus the sound in a certain area, or use this virtual stage enhancer to kind of add a 3D element. So we're going to leave that off for the start of the test, but I'll turn it on later in the drive let you hear what it sounds like. So as this track gets going, Let's listen to the different sound adjustments. I should mention we've got a USB stick with uncompressed WAV audio files plugged directly into the system, as well as two high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic sound system experience on YouTube. And I'll show you the difference between the vocal image control right now as well. Or the virtual stage enhancer, I can say. Here's off. Hi. Low. And off. It's not the best 3D sort of virtual sound 
in any car, but it's also not the worst. So let's fire up the car here, get the AC going a little bit, and get on the road. And keep the fan speed low for you guys so it doesn't interfere with the music too much. So a few observations on this track. This is a really difficult track for a lot of sound systems. There's a lot of different noise and sound coming through. Might not be everyone's preference, but it's a good stress test for a lot of sound systems. And this being just kind of the middle to low range audio system in an Outback, it's handling it pretty well. But what you really can pick up on with this song, and you'll notice it in some of the, some of the other tracks you listen to as well, they're really over boosting the mid range bass and there's absolutely no low-end bass. You're not really going to hear much of the lack of low-end bass in a song like this, but you can hear the, the bass drum hits are coming through really strong. Take a listen. The nice thing about that, though, is even if those are coming through strong, your music not, might, might not sound super well-balanced, but it's not going to be harsh on the ears. What, what really gets hard with, with, is when cars have kind of the mid treble too high that really hurts your ears when you start to turn the music up this car it's missing a little bit on the high end yeah i mean there's no good tweeters in here or anything and it's missing the really low lows but i'm actually impressed that it's not worse let's listen to one more track here then we'll get up on the highway we'll kind of get an idea for what the car sounds like at 70 miles per hour and we'll wrap it up So sometimes those piano notes come through really strong on bad systems. They're not really hurting my ears, so that's good.
been in inexpensive systems and expensive sound systems where when this drop comes in the song, you have to turn the radio down because it just hurts your ears. The mixing is, is not very well done and it tries to just shove all the sound through these garbage speakers and it just hurts. It just doesn't sound pleasant at all. This system isn't going to blow you away or anything and it's not really bringing out the, the nuances to any of these songs. But none of it is offensive and none of it is harsh. And I think Subaru did a really good job not just ignoring the tuning on the system and doing the best they could with whatever speakers they chose. Let's listen to the drop one more time. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that this is a great system. What I'm saying is for the money, when you're talking that this isn't the high upgraded system, this isn't a $40,000 Subaru, it sounds pretty decent and pretty acceptable. If you're an audiophile, you're not going to want this. You're going to want either the Harman Kardon system from Subaru or something entirely different because Subaru's Harman Kardon system that I've tested in the Ascent was not fantastic. It was better than this, but it wasn't great. I'm going to turn the music off for a second here and just let you listen to what the car sounds like at 75 miles per hour. It's quite good. It's one of the merits of the Subaru Outback. It's refined. Not a lot of road noise. Not No engine noise. Wind noise is pretty good. When you're talking $35,000, very capable, utilitarian, all-wheel drive vehicle, it's really good. So to wrap things up, if I had to give an objective rating to the six speaker system in the Outback here, Outback Onyx XT, uh, I'd give it about, a, oof. I was gonna say five and a half to six, but then I remembered this screen. <laughs> it's not very good. It's got lag, especially when you first start up the system for the first few minutes you're using the vehicle. It's not super intuitive. The buttons are at least pretty decent and easy to press, but they're, it's lacking a lot of physical controls. So for that, I'd probably put it at a solid five. Just talking audio quality, maybe five and a half. Then subjectively speaking, like I said, when you factor in the price, when you talk about this class of vehicle, what it's capable of, I'd bump the rating up to about a six. It's no system that's gonna make you write home about, but if you're not a huge audiophile, you'll be plenty happy with the system. The only songs it really misses out on are really complicated rock and orchestral sort of music and uh, heavy bass hip hop. You're not gonna get those low, low basses that are really satisfying. But if you just like to listen to the radio, casual music, it's certainly passable. Anyway, I hope you guys were able to get a good impression of the six speaker system here in the Outback. If you want to know more about the vehicle, check out our full review. That link will be in the description when it posts. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. It really helps us out. Check out some of our other reviews. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.